Hey, I just wanted to throw together another quick little tutorial, this time on downloading and uploading assignments into Brightspace. It's going to be helpful for instructors, but I'm primarily talking to those on the other side of the Brightspace experience, students. Now, I've had a number of students over the past several semesters that have had difficulty downloading and working on assignments and even submitting assignments that require a particular type of file attachment, especially students who've been working with Google Docs. So let's try to get this fixed real quick. Now let's start with a few things that I've seen that we might want to avoid, like downloading a document, printing it out, handwriting it, photographing it, and then uploading the photo. Not easy to read. Not the best way to handle an assignment. Might be okay as a last resort, but I would try not to do this if you could help it at all. And then we have the document that for some reason mangles the entire original formatting and comes back a chaotic, confused compilation that requires some kind of decodering just to decipher. Assignments are usually formatted for a reason, like ease of grading. And for you Mac users, Brightspace does not open pages. That's an unsupported file format which is why my courses specify that all assignments need to be submitted as a Word doc or as a PDF. And even if you don't have access to Microsoft Word, you can work with these types of files in Google Docs. So let's walk through how to do that. Okay, let's go over to a relatively empty Brightspace shell that we can play with a little bit. I'm gonna go over to the content area, click on that, and under the unit that I have, which is an empty unit right now, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new assignment. I'll go down to assignment, click on that, then we'll just title it test because this is just an experiment. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring up a file that I want to attach to this assignment, a document that I've already pre-designed. So I'll just go to my computer and I'm going to pull up the file explorer. I'm going to select the assignment that I want to bring in here. Let's just pick this one because it's right there. I'm going to drag it and drop it into that box so that it shows up right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and add that assignment. To keep it simple, I'm not going to adjust anything else. I'm simply going to make this visible. I'm going to save it and close it. And next, I'm going to go in as a student so that you can see what this will look like from the learner perspective. Going back to the home page, let's go right over to content, go to my unit, open it up. There's my assignment with my assignment link. Click on go to assignment. Now here, we've got the option to download the file, which is right here as an attachment. Now I'm going to go ahead and download that file. I'm going to go ahead and open it up in its folder. And if you are working with Microsoft Word, you can go ahead and open the document there, work on it, etc. But let's assume that you don't have Microsoft Word and you want to work on this in Google Docs. Here is all we need to do. I'm going to go over to my Google Drive, take that file, and I'm simply going to drag it and drop it right into the drive. As you can see, the document is now in my drive. I'm going to go ahead and open that up in Google Docs. And as you can see, the document opens exactly the way it should. The original formatting is preserved. Everything looks exactly the way it needs to be. I can work in the document. If it's in a table format, I can type my answers directly into the table. Everything is fine. I don't even have to hit save because Google Docs has the feature of saving things automatically, which is one of the cool things about working with Google Docs. Now, when I want to submit the assignment, there are a number of ways I can do that. There are certain ways I want to avoid. For instance, what I don't want to do is come up here, simply copy the URL, go back to my assignment, scroll down, and in the comments section, add that link, and then hit submit. Chances are, I'm not going to have access to read what you've submitted. That link is not going to do me any good. So please don't do that. Another option is to come up over here and click share and then make sure you add your instructor's email address so that you'll actually share the document with them. I don't know how many times I have assignments that I've tried to open through Google links and I just cannot access the document. What I end up doing is giving the assignment a zero and giving them some advice as to how to get the assignment to me in a different format or at least to request access. But the best way to do it is not to go through the share at all, but simply to download that document. Now there are a couple ways to do this as well. First, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just change the name of this so that it'll be easier to find. 
And then I'm going to come over to File, open that up, go down to Download, and I could download that document in a number of different formats, including Microsoft Word or as PDF. Right now I'm just going to go ahead and download it as a, I'll do it as a PDF document. Then when I go back to Brightspace, I'm going to add a file from my computer. I'm going to go ahead, open up my downloads folder where I saved it, that test document right here, drag it and drop it into that box, and I'm going to hit Add. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom, click on Submit. It's going to let me know that my file submission was successful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of the learner viewpoint and go back to the instructor viewpoint. Now when I want to go ahead and grade, I can come over to my assignments. I can go down. I could find the assignment that I need to grade. Click on Submissions. Take a look at the actual document. PDF pulls up. Perfectly readable and easily gradable. And I'm done. In the end, it's not that difficult to download an assignment, import it into Google Docs, work on it, and still download it in whatever type of file is going to be easily readable by Brightspace. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and take care.